Off street. Rogue Masked Warrior. Best hero, Vanish Like the Wind, as soon as he's done. <laughs> Our protagonist. Okay. And now I guess we head to Midtown. That's good to know. Oh, Central Park. Okay. I mean, thus far as the only person we've met who does sword fighting, so if I'm going to train with somebody, might as well train with the other person who knows how to sword fight. And if she's not very good at it, then I can teach her to be better and thus improve my, my improve my own skill by teaching. The other ones we got. Um. Oh, I come on the outfit. Aha. Uh -huh. It actually, it, it is a good look. It's a good character design in general. Good look. Apparently, the other one is midriff. Okay, sure. Okay. I'm not sure how I got the how I flicked the mid riff off, but that's okay. All right. Um. Gold Plaza Hotel. Maybe. Aha. 
This is a fictitious hotel, of course, I suspect. There is a big hotel off of uh, um, Central Park, but I don't think it's actually called that. We are currently getting along great, so I can't lie there. I was like, we have to head back. Um, no more dialogue options. Okay. All right. So it looks like that is the end of my free dialogue options here. Okay. Okay. And it'll automate your movement for you, that's good. I suspect there's probably a favorable re reaction response there, too. Okay. I believe this happens pretty early on in the first game as well. Is you get... In Take it to an early performance of one of the shows. Hmm. The elevator's here, Lieutenant. Huh? Subaru saw the new guy. He's Japanese, is he not? Prefers do themselves in the third person, huh? Oh, good timing. Let me introduce you to our other Japanese member. I'm Subaru Kujo of the Star Division. <laughs> Just call me Subaru. Okay. So, also note here is Subaru as a character is basically gender fluid. Um, I did some basic like background research before I started game, so I know who the what the routes were and that sort of thing. And oh, we have a, a a gender fluid character in the game, which I thought was neat. I think should turn down the music just a little bit. Subaru is simply Subaru. Nothing more, nothing less. I, I think there was a good option there. Um pretty neutral. Okay, timeout also works. It also work, but it's neutral. Okay. Subaru wonders if there's any reason to teach you anything. 
I see no reason to answer your questions or to even interact with you at all. Okay, so I'm starting to start with a fairly hostile reaction to this character. Okay, I probably should have gone neutral for the boost. Subaru, Lieutenant Taiga comes to us from the Imperial Assault Force. Hmm? Subaru is certain there is no way you can replace him. Don't worry about it. Let's go, before the elevator leaves without us. Hmm. Huh? I thought Karen was in the dressing room. Wait here while I go look for her. She must be around here somewhere. Don't. Oh. Aha. Another opportunity to interact with Subaru. Okay. So, hmm. Yo, kid. What are you doing? Visitors aren't allowed in here. It just so happens I am. Who's asking? I know all you kids want to get a glimpse of the famous dancer, but rules are rules, kid. Get back to the auditorium, or we'll have to take care of you. Okay. A wise decision. Who better to solve this situation than me? What? You know this kid or something? He isn't a fan, Karen. He's our new employee, Shinjiro Taiga. He just started to... Alright, scored some points with, uh... With this character. You can't be serious! This little runt? Sunnyside, that slimeball! He knows he'll get busted for putting a minor on the payroll! Actually, I'm 19. Come on, kid. Sweatshop bastard. I'm a lawyer, you know. I won't stand by and let him disrespect the law like this. Let's go. If you don't help, I might just have you arrested. I'm 19. I'm not underage. I mean, I can't mean by. And I can't vote or drink at this point, but still. Actually, unless maybe this maybe the, the the minor thing. No. Okay, actually, no, I can see we're getting in trouble here because okay, never mind. Actually, it makes sense. Um, because if it's the, the establishment is serving alcohol, then I can't be present, or my character can't be present because they're nineteen. Subaru doesn't like to meddle in the affairs of others. <laughs> Also, Subaru gets a real kick out of making fun of you. Hey, <laughs> having your discomfort. Just what do you think you're doing here? Why, hello there, Karen. What's up your butt today? I do appreciate that, that she's pronouncing it as Karen. Like, th this hat can't be. Th this is clearly unintentional because the meme did not exist then. But I, I'm suddenly amused at the fact that uh, our, our our lawyer member of the team is namely pronounced Karen. And. The conclusion of her very first scene leads to her dragging our protagonist to go speak to the manager. <clears throat> Just say it. Don't you know there are laws against putting 13-year-olds to work? Okay, alright, I'm not 13, I'm 19. I know you think I'm dumb as a doorknob, legal eagle, but I'm not that stupid. The law means nothing if we don't respect it. <laughs> I will not as my employer brazenly commits felonies left and right! Looks like we're in deep doo-doo here, kid. Think you can handle this? Oh, the hell.
Okay. Okay. I, I, I didn't get points for that, but it's a good option. You look like ten, maybe. Like, I realize I'm shorter because of dietary, because of, of genetics and ethnicity and the combination thereof. And my character is fairly young, young and baby-faced, but no, nope, nope, nineteen. Nope. I won't get mad if you just tell me the truth. But if you don't stop lying... Uh, here's the birth certificate. <laughs> and my passport and other documentation. Surely you've noticed that, by and large, Asian folks tend to look younger than they are. Besides, he's not some underage staffer. He's our newest member. I felt we needed a little leadership. So I asked Japan to send us their very best. Yeah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Is that twig? Hey, I'm small, that makes it be means I fit in the mech cockpit better. So they sent us some half-grown greenhorn? I hope you kept the receipt. The way I understood it, Commander Ogami himself was coming. This is a clear breach of contract. <laughs> Send him back and get the commander over here, huh? Because I took the whole trip by boat, so there'd be at least three weeks to a month. Chop chop, get it done. I'm out of here. And there she goes. Hmm. She is so grumpy. Her boiling point is like absolute zero. Have scientifically we determined that absolute. Uh, has Absolute Zero been developed as a concept by this point? I mean, we have Steampunk slash Dieselpunk Ultratech, so maybe. Well, we requested that the Imperial Assault Force send their best warrior. Is that you? Since our organization is so new, we need a really strong leader, you know? Yep. You know, that is good timing for the music. If you're asking for the truth, uh, yeah, pretty much. Arsh. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't turn off... I can't adjust individual volume. You know what? Like, like the the, the like the I'm go I should just go back to Japan is the one I'm, I'm feeling, and uh, like my character be feeling. But I would say that the I'm, what's wrong with me is the appropriate response given the circumstances. I know how you must feel, but passion is not the only requirement. The Star Division is a top class team. Listen, Lieutenant. This is America. We are nothing if not practical. If you really want to be part of the team, just prove that you can be useful. Yep. Passion is great and all, but it's useless without results. Okay. In America, everyone has a shot at making it big, but they have to earn it. 
so find a way to make your mark. And if you can't, we'll just have to call up the commander. That's a good way of upsetting your expectations. Sorry, but I have to get going. Gotta get ready for the next performance. You should come watch us and figure out how you might be able to fit in. I am somewhat disappointed that the game score is by Casio. And... So... Are we doing Julius Caesar? Uh, apparently, yes, we are doing Julius Caesar. Okay. Wow. Very great. Very apparently, we're doing Julius Caesar. Okay. So this is the power of a New York musical. <laughs> a musical version of um, of Julius Caesar. Sure. All right. Technically, yeah. Actually, yeah. So the actually option I should have picked was apparently yes, or the not no response. is my character does have military training so theoretically cleanliness is of the highest importance you have your orders lieutenant
Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.